am with Sarah, the senior uh, memorable supervisor at Currumbin Wildlife Century, and we'll be talking about their work to help save the brush-footed rock wallaby. So what do you love so much about these animals? They are absolutely spectacular. I like to call them the ninja of the macropod family. They are absolutely amazing in their manoeuvres that they can do on the rock work. And of course, they are absolutely stunning to look at as well, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. One thing that I find amazing about them is they can actually climb up trees. They can, mate. They really do. So we've had to put a lot of effort into our facility <laughs> to make sure they don't climb out. <laughs> So what does their diet consist of? So in the wild they would eat lots of grasses and, and different roots of plants as well that they would get at um, yep. and of course lots of leaves because like you said they climb trees so they do eat quite a bit of browse. But here in captivity we provide them with a pellet based diet All as right. well as their veggies so they're good at eating their veggies. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me a bit about brush-tailed rock wallaby breeding. So brush-tailed rock wallabies are a little bit more difficult to breed than most macropod species All right. because they don't live in big mobs like some of our kangaroo species. So they like to be in a quite a small group. Um, so there'll be one male and maybe about three to five females that he might have with him. And those girls will actually breed with that male the entire time that he's there. Of course, the boys might head off and be a bit more promiscuous though. I guess that's a bit of a problem, them not breeding as easily because they are just so rare now. That's exactly right. So they're a critically endangered species in some parts of Australia. Mm. They're actually found right the way down from Queensland into Victoria. So they're found a long way, but their habitat has been fragmented as well. So that again is another issue for their breeding. Yeah. So how endangered are they and what are their threats? So they are critically endangered, like I said, and different parts of, it, of that great dividing range which they live along, it's a little bit more so than others. Their biggest threats, of course, are human beings. We're terrible, aren't we? Yeah. So there's lots of things that we can do to help though, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But another threat that they have is foxes. Mm. Another threat that they have you wouldn't really think so common is, is goats. So they get in there and they eat a lot of the food in their habitat. Yeah. And, and again, that habitat fragmentation, which makes it difficult for them to breed. So what is Currumbin Wildlife Sanctuary doing to help save um, the brush-tailed rock wallaby? We have got a specially built breeding facility for the brush-tailed rock wallabies and we have actually bred here for quite some time now. We're going on nearly 10 years as part wow. of the program. Um, so this facility here was built specifically for breeding um, and we've released now three little ones back to Waterfall Springs that have headed back to the wild. Um, very soon we'll be getting some new females to, uh, to breed with our boy too, so that's exciting. Awesome. Yeah. So what can everyday people do, do to help save the brush-tailed rock wallaby? So there's lots of things that people can do to help out, but one of the most important things, of course, is um, making sure that we're looking after our environment. And one thing that lots of people can do is keep their pets, of course, safe and sound at home, desex their cats, things like that. So that's one of the most important things that they can do. Yeah, a lot of people think that they can't make a difference. They're just one perfect person. But Steve Irwin was one different. Exactly. Oh, one person. You're exactly right, mate. And everyone can make a difference. They just need to put their mind to it, don't they? Yeah. So thank you for talking to me. You are more than welcome, mate. Love talking to you. Thanks.